Hi everyone, Fiona here from Lavender Blue and I have um, just a junk journal flip through for you today. Um, this one's been a long time in the making. Um, it's been quite a while since I've actually been able to complete an actual um, full junk journal <clears throat> because I've been working on a lot, a lot of other things such as the notebooks etc. But this one um, is made using my Spring Blooms kit, um, which I will put the link below if you're interested in that one. So it's just a simple one signature journal. Um, the cover is made from a piece of cardstock and um, I've put some calico on the spine here. And then I have put on the stuck on a couple of the pages on the front and back from the kit. So I've just put a piece of um, silk fabric around for the closure. Just undo that. And so this is one of the pages here. Some beautiful uh, blue flowers there. And that's the one I've used on the back. Okay, so on the inside cover, um, I've put the pocket in the front and the back, and I've used some um, some really old um, music paper here. This is some real vintage music paper that I've stuck on the inside. And then in the front pocket, I have this little um, folio using the same uh, papers from the Spring Blooms. Just open it up and there's a little tuck spot here that I've made from one of the tags. I've got another one of the little tags in here. They're all blank so you can uh, journal on the back. Um, this pocket I've left empty. Then I have another little tag in here. And this folio was actually from a, a uh, a challenge that we had in the group was to make a little uh, folio and um, while I'm talking about the group actually I'm actually closing my Facebook group um, but um, and that's the one called um, it's just called lavender blue group on Facebook um, but I do have a Facebook page so Nothing's really going to change except um, the freebies that I put up will be hosted on my website but everything, everything will still be posted to my Facebook page so I will also link my Facebook page below this video so that you can go over and if you still want to follow you will need to like the page so that um, click like so that you can get still get notifications. Okay, so here's another page from the kit and I've just put a little um, fold out here of a, these are, um, these little tickets were a freebie, these blank tickets and I did make a video where I was decorating these, um, these little tickets and if I remember I'll put the link to that video below so I've just made a little fold out where you can journal on there. I've got lots of um, tea dyed and copy dyed papers. Um, it's not really full, but it's um, it's quite chunky as it is, so I didn't want to put too much more inside. And this is one of the other sort of background papers. And here is where I made, um, I did a video for these as well, where I made these little clear pockets um, you can, yeah, it's clear on the front, this one, but you can make them, you could have done another little pocket on the back, but I'll link the video below anyway, so you can see how I did it, and I've just put one of the tall tags in there, and my cat Smokey's just come to say hello, you can see him, just move your little tail, sweetie, <laughs> okay, hopefully he's going to let me get in the camera 
Uh, another coffee dyed paper, um, another page from the kit, beautiful pink um, flower there. And this is a um, from some scrapbooking paper that I had. It had some uh, vellum pages, which I thought were really nice, so I included those. And I added some pockets, just added some little words here and there. Which I think are from one of my printable um, word pages and this we made um, in another video this is a um, hopefully you can still see um, this is a oh what's it called a spiral is it a little spiral card something like that <laughs> but we made this in another video and I'll link it below just opens up like this so you can put in a photo or you can put anything you like in there. Um, just do that back up and that. I always get confused with these things. Put that in the pocket there. I've got another pocket here. I've made quite a few pockets out of um, just botanical books that I had and um, put the images on there. This is one of the tags from the kit as well. Another page from the kit. And a pocket I've made from a botanical book that I had. Um, this is uh, another journaling card where I've just collaged on some leftover papers and put the word magic there. This is an envelope. I haven't put anything inside that bit there. Old ledger paper. And there's another page from the kit. Um, another pocket with the word wish. And then I've made another pretty journaling tag from a botanical image. And I've backed that onto some pink cardstock. Some more of the um, ledger paper. Got a doily there, and here I have an envelope which I have decorated and paper clipped. Um, just put um, a lace, a little lace love heart there, and it's got a pearl, and then it's got a blank card inside which is also coffee dyed. So that just slips over the page here. Then I've got a little small page. Um, these are some papers that I made um, out of some spray inks that I hand made and um, using some stencils. Another page here from the printable. And this page, I made another video of how I did this page. I made the belly band and then um, this cute little notepad that we made to go in there and I'll also find the link to that video and put it below if you're interested some more coffee dyed paper in the center I've got this beautiful um, book page um, this was gifted to me by Cell thank you very much Cell for that and I thought it went beautifully with this journal. Another coffee dyed paper here. And then we have another um, botanical pocket with um, one of the journaling cards or... No, I think I've cut down one of the pages here and I've um, backed it on some pink cardstock as well. Another page here with some beautiful spring birds and some more blooms. Coffee dyed paper. It's a little flip out page I've done with the stenciled page. Then I have another envelope up here that I've just decorated. It's got a little card inside. Some more paper, doily, ledger paper. Another botanical pocket and a little um, botanical card here with a banksia on the front which is an Australian wildflower 
put that in there and then another beautiful page from the kids some more um, coffee dyed um, ledger paper this is the other side of that envelope and I've just decorated the flap with um, a paper ruffle some lace and a little pink button and then inside I've put a um, a journaling card that I've made um, just using some of the scraps I've backed it on some cardstock and then I put um, some old words that I had lying around and um, a little key there and then um, another pocket is one of the other journaling cards here um, one of the other pages Copy dyed paper. That one is stuck. This is the other side of my the vellum paper. I've got this gorgeous sort of um, postcard in here that was also sent to me. Very pretty. Put that in there. And then I have another envelope that I've decorated. One of the pages. Put a little butterfly on the back there from my butterfly sheet, which is also a printable in the shop. Some more paper there, copy dyed, and then I've got another one of these clear pockets that I made with one of the tall tags. Goes in behind there. Another one of the pages, copy dyed paper, and that's the last page there. And then in the back pocket, I put this tag. Um, I did another video where um, I used uh, one of my kits is these beautiful um, vintage ladies and. You get them in um, sepia like this or in black and white and in colour. And I just used one of the cards and made these um, these beautiful tags. And that's, that's also in another video of how I made these because these were a freebie in the Facebook group. Um, so if I, I'll also link that video below. So that just sits in there. So that is the journal, the Spring Blooms journal, and this will be available in my Etsy shop if you're interested. Um, so thanks very much for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.